Hey, what's up, guys? Too Tall Toby here, and welcome to another episode of Power Moves with Too Tall Toby. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Section View tool and how you can save some time when you're creating and editing your section views. Ow! So here we can see I'm in the section view command. I'm gonna just uh, press this button up here in my heads up toolbar and then press it again so that I can examine the section view properties. And there's lots of cool stuff that you can do in section view. One of my favorite things to do is to select components that'll be excluded from the section view. So I can go through here and maybe pick some of these wires and show the manufacturing team what I'm hoping to accomplish with this design by sectioning the bottle only, but still showing some of these other components. But here's something I didn't know you could do for a long time. I always thought when you wanted to edit the section view properties, you had to exit section view and then begin section view again. And then that would let you go in and access all the properties here for the section view. Well, it turns out you can simply do a right mouse button in the background and go down here to section view properties. I know this is just a, a little tip, but a lot of times power moves are like that. It's just a little quick tip that maybe you didn't know that'll end up saving you a lot of time. So if, for example, you didn't realize that you forgot to include uh, maybe this wire back here as part of that uh, selected components to exclude, well, we could click on that wire as well to include it, maybe this little bracket here, and finally this screw down here. Again, it's just a little shortcut right mouse button go into your section view properties but i gotta tell you this is one that i use a lot a lot of times i've got a section view looking pretty good and i just maybe want to adjust the depth of it so i'll just right mouse button go into section view properties and then i can take this arrow here and drag it to adjust the depth or maybe make some other subtle adjustment whatever it is i think that that's a great power move and hopefully it'll save you a lot of time I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Power Moves. If you did, be sure to check out this video as well, which shows you something else really cool that you can do with section views in SolidWorks. And uh, of course, be sure to like, subscribe, maybe add a comment, and uh, share this video with somebody else to show them some of the power moves that you can take advantage of in the wonderful world of SolidWorks. See you guys next time.